Recently, along with a couple other updates, the Quirk Boss received another rework, changing its animation, stats, units, and greatly buffing how good it is. In this video, I'll be showcasing all the stat changes, values, and uses of both the Golden and Normal Quirk Boss, then giving my personal rankings of how good they are. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. I'm going to start with the Normal Quirk, but if you want to skip to the Golden version, go to this part in the video. At level 0, the Normal Quirk now costs 600 cash to place, which is 150 more than before. Its damage was increased from 2 to 4, fire rate increased from 0.758 to 1.25, DPS was increased from 2.64 to 3.2, and it now summons Pistol Quirks every 35 seconds, when it previously could only do that at level 1. The Pistol Crook deals 2 damage, has a fire rate of 0 0.8, 10 HP, 14 range, and 2.5 DPS. Level 1's total cost went from 700 cash to 850, and its damage was increased from 3 to 4, fire rate increased from 0 0.758 to 1.1, DPS was increased from 3.96 to 3.64, and it now summons Pistol Crooks every 25 seconds. Level 2's total cost went from 1,500 cash to 1,750, and its damage was increased from 3 to 4, fire rate increased from 0 0.558 to 1, range increased from 11 to 12, and its DPS was decreased from 5.38 to 4. It also gains hidden detection and spawns two pistol crooks at a time, doubling its DPS from units. Level 3's total cost went from 3,500 cash to 4,600, and its damage stayed at 3, its fire rate stayed at 0 0.158, range was increased from 12 to 14, and its DPS stayed at 18.99. But in addition to the pistol crooks, it now spawns tummy crooks every 30 seconds. This crook deals 3 damage, has a fire rate of 0 0.25, 35 HP, 16 range, and 12 DPS. It can also shoot hidden enemies. And finally, at level 4, its total cost went from 11,500 cash to 16,600, and its damage increased from 5 to 6, fire rate stayed at 0.108, and its DPS was increased from 46.3 to 60. It also now spawns upgraded Tommy Crooks every 20 seconds. This Crook deals 4 damage, has a fire rate of 0 0.18, 50 health, 18 range, and 22.22 DPS. It also now has a better placement limit, allowing you to get 6 Crook bosses instead of 4. The 3 most notable changes to this tower are the increase to its DPS and price, the huge buff to its units, and the bigger placement limit. First of all, while it is more expensive to place, you're still able to get it on the first wave. Unfortunately, the level 0 tower itself had a slight decrease of value from 5.87 to 5.33 DPS per 1k spent. This isn't a big difference though, and the fact that it now spawns units from level 0 easily makes up for that. The pistol crooks deal an added 2.5 DPS, and technically have full map range. Previously, the level 0 crook could not defend any ways by itself, but it can now last until wave 7 all by itself, which is really good. You just have to be patient and let the crooks deal with the leaked enemies. That means it's a really good option for early game, and performs as well as the golden scout, if you ignore how incredibly slow it is. It also got a decent buff to its max DPS, going from 46.3 to 60. For a price of 16,600 cash, that gives it a value of 3.61, which is alright, but nothing too special. However, this is without considering the DPS it gets from its units. Instead of replacing the previous units, it now spawns both the Pistol Crook and Tommy Crook, meaning it spawns an insane amount of units. Of course, this adds up to a lot of DPS. On average, I'd personally say that for each Crook Boss Tower, you'll have around 4 Pistol Crooks and 2 upgraded Tommy Crooks available at all times. All the Pistol Crooks give a total of 10 DPS, and the Tommy Crooks give a total of 44.44 DPS. If we add this to the base DPS of the tower, we get a grand total of 114.44 DPS. That's a decent amount of DPS, being only 15.19 less than a max golden minigunner. For 16,600 cash, that gives it a value of 6.9, which is really good. So, this tower now has a decent max DPS, but it gets even better when you remember it now has a placement limit of 6. That means you can get a max total DPS of 686.64, which is a lot better than before. But still, that's a bit too low to be considered a good late game tower. Also, it's important to remember that it has fluctuating DPS and will deal anywhere between 60 to 114.44 DPS or more. It means it isn't super reliable and I wouldn't use it as your main DPS. However, it having great value, really good early to mid game performance, a decent max DPS, and hidden detection makes it a good tower, so I'm going to rank it as a solid B tier. It's a bit too unreliable for me to put it in A tier, as max DPS isn't high enough to do amazing in the late game, and from my experience, it seems to do better on paper than in reality. Now, let's take a look at the Golden Crook boss. It costs 900 cash to place, which is 300 more than before. Its damage increased from 3 to 10, fire rate was increased from 0.708 to 1.75, range was increased from 10 to 12, and its DPS was increased from 4.23 to 5.71. It also spawns pistol crooks every 35 seconds. This crook deals 2 damage, has a fire rate of 0.6, 15 HP, 14 range, and 3.33 DPS. Level 1's total cost went from 875 cash to 1,275, and its damage increased from 3 to 10, fire rate increased from 0.558 to 1.5, range increased from 11 to 12, and its DPS was increased from 5.38 to 6.6. 
167 DPS. It also now spawns crooks every 25 seconds. Level 2's total cost went from 1,925 cash to 2,375, and its damage increased from 3 to 10, fire rate increased from 0.408 to 1.2, range increased from 13 to 13.5, and its DPS increased from 7.35 to 8.33. It also now has hidden detection and spawns two pistol crooks at a time, doubling the DPS they get from units. Level 3's total cost went from 5,175 cash to 7,125, and its damage increased from 3 to 5, fire rate increased from 0.108 to 0.12, range increased from 13 to 15, and its DPS increased from 27.78 to 41.67 DPS. It now also spawns Tommy Crooks every 25 seconds. This crook deals 4 damage, has a fire rate of 0.22, 40 HP, 16 range, 18.18 DPS, and it can now shoot at hidden enemies. Finally, level 4's total cost went from 13,675 cash to 24,625, and its damage was increased from 6 to 11, its fire rate was increased from 0.008 to 0.1, range was increased from 15 to 17.5, and its DPS was increased from 68.18 to 110 DPS. It also now spawns upgraded Tommy Crooks every 20 seconds. This crook deals 5 damage, has a fire rate of 0.15, 18 range, and 33.33 DPS. It can also shoot hidden enemies. You can now also play 6 crook bosses instead of only 4. The 3 most notable changes are the price and DPS increase, the huge buff to the spawning of units, and the big replacement limit. First of all, it's now kind of hard to use in the early game as you have to tank 2 ways before you can afford it. However, while the value of the level 0 tower itself has dropped from 7.05 to 6.34 DPS per 1k spent, this is easily made up by the fact that it now spawns crooks from base level. The crook adds a solid 3.33 DPS and has the added bonus of full map range. If you purchase a level 0 golden crook boss on fallen mode, it can solo all ways from wave 2 up until wave 10, which is actually really good. That gives you a whole bunch of time to freely farm in the early game, it means it's a solid option for early game defense. The tower also had its max DPS increase from 68.18 to 110 DPS, which is only 19.63 less than a max golden minigunner. For a total of 24,625 cash, that gives it a value of 4.47, which is pretty good, especially considering how high its DPS is. And not only that, this is without considering its units. Because it now spawns both kinds of units at once, it spawns a whole bunch of enemies, which of course add up to a solid amount of DPS. I say on average, towards the late game, you can expect roughly 4 pistol crooks and 2 upgraded Tommy crooks per tower to be available at all times. The pistol crooks have a total of 13.32 DPS, and the upgraded Tommies have a total of 66.66 DPS. If you add all that to the DPS of the base tower, we get a grand total of 189.98. That is insane and gives it a value of 7.71 DPS per 1k spent. So essentially, the golden crook now has amazing DPS, amazing value, can see hidden enemies, and has full map range with his units. But it gets even better since it now has a placement limit of 6, which is 2 more than before. That means the max potential DPS you can get using it is 1139.88. That is so much better than before, and that makes it genuinely a solid late game DPS tower. However, it's important to remember that the DPS will fluctuate heavily somewhere between 110 to 189.98 DPS or more. Also, the crooks do tend to die really easily from final bosses, as their stomps can clear out any units nearby them. So I say this tower is still best used from mid to late game as it struggles on wave 40. But because of its amazing DPS, DPS, value, full map range, and hidden detection, I'm going to have to rank this tower as an 8 tier. I highly recommend using it, I think this rework was an awesome change to this tower. I only wish that I had a cheaper placement cost, as that makes it really annoying to use in the early game. But with that said, that's it for this video. When comparing the Golden Crook and Normal Crook, I say the Normal Crook is more of an early to mid game tower, while the Golden Crook does better in mid to late game. Anyways, let me know in the comments how you would rank these towers, and whether or not you like this buff. Also, hit that like button, and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. If you want to talk to me, consider joining my Discord, there's a link pinned in the comments. Big thanks to these guys for for supporting my content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.